Hi, let's see this result. The class of DCFL is not closed under concatenation and crane star operation. So <laughs> we will see some counter example for this. Consider this language L and this language is basically your a power n b power n c power k and k is greater than or equal to 1 union a power n b power k c power n and n k greater than or equal to 1 now you consider this language l this language l is a standard non dcfl language you can clearly see why this is not dcfl because in this language you can see that either we have to check a power a number of a equal to number of b or we have to check number of a equal to number of c so basically this language l has two parts one part this and another is this part okay so <clears throat> this is not dcfl because we do not know whether to check this or whether to check this so that is why this is not dcfl now consider uh, consider another language so let me call it L1 and now let me call it L and this language L what I am going to do I am going to do like this a power n b power n c power k and n k is greater than or equal to 1 so I am just not writing it okay and a power n b power k c power n here I am putting d here okay so you can see what I am doing I am doing a power uh, the same a power n b power n c power k and here I am doing d a power n b power k c power n now this l this is a dcfl why this is a dcfl this language l this uh, <coughs> this language l if you see okay let's so this language l now this is a dcfl because now everything is clear push and pop everything is clear now what we will do okay for example first you will push all the a's then if your string starts with D, then you will check A power N B A power N C power N. If your string does not start with D, then you will check A power N B power N. So basically, this this D this D will tell you whether your string belongs to this part or whether your string belongs to this part. So that is why this L is DCFL. You can clearly see why this L1 was not DCFL because here we did not know whether our string belongs here or whether our string belongs here so that is the point now this l is a dcfl language now consider another language what i am going to do i am going to take another language let's take l dash and that language is basically empty string comma d so this is a very simple language l dash is a finite language only two strings we have one is empty string another is d now you need to consider l dash dot l what is this okay so this is a concatenation of l dash and l so what is this language this is basically uh, this dot l and l is this okay a power n b power n c power k union d a power n b power k c power n so this is our l now if you see this will be basically your uh, if you do the concatenation then what you will get you will get l union dl now if you do this l union dl then what you will get so this l is as it is so this l a power n b power n c power k okay uh, union d a power n b power k c power n so this l is as it is union dl dl means now you will concatenate this uh, d with this l so you will get d a power n b power n c power k union d square a power n b power k c power n now this language that you have you have got l dot l dash dot l this language is not dcfl you can check it out why 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 it is not dcfl see you can clearly see in this language you have four parts either this or this or this or this now if your string starts with d square then you can say that your string belongs to this part if your string does not start with D, then you can say your string belongs to this part. So this is clear. These two parts are clear. But what if your string start with D? Then you don't know whether to check this or whether to check this. Basically, if your string starts with D, let's assume your string is this uh, D and then some A power N. And we don't know what is this, what is this. Okay. Now, if your string is starting with D, now I don't know. So of course I will push all the A's, I will push all the A's, 
बट नाउ आई डोंट नो वेदर टू चेक ए पावर एन विद सी पावर एन और वेदर टू चेक ए पावर एन विद बी पावर एन सो दैट इज वाई आई कैन से दैट दिस एल डोस दिस एल डेस डोट एल दिस इज नॉट डी सी एफ नाउ फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन वेरी इजिली सी दैट दिस एल डेस इज फाइनेट लैंग्वेज एंड एवरी फाइनेट लैंग्वेज इज रेगुलर सो दिस एल डेस इज डी सी एफ एवरी रेगुलर लैंग्वेज इज डी सी एफ सो दिस एल डेस इज डी सी एफ एंड दिस एल इज ऑल्सो डी सी एफ बट देयर कॉन्केटनेशन इज नॉट डी सी एफ सो द फर्स्ट रिजल्ट दैट वी गोट इज दैट डी सी एफ एल कॉन्केटनेटेड विद डी सी एफ एल दैट मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट रिजल्ट डी सी एफ एल कॉन्केटनेशन विद डी सी एफ एल मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल आई कैन से दैट मे नॉट बी मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट रिजल्ट दैट आई गोट ऑल्सो यू कैन यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट दिस एल डेस दिस इज अ रेगुलर लैंग्वेज सो आई कैन ऑल्सो से दिस रिजल्ट ऑल्सो आई कैन से दैट इफ यू हैव अ रेगुलर लैंग्वेज डॉट डी सी एफ एल लैंग्वेज मीन्स रेगुलर लैंग्वेज कॉन्केटनेटेड विद डी सी एफ एल लैंग्वेज दैट ऑल्सो मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल सो बेसिकली आई कैन से दैट डी सी एफ एल लैंग्वेजेस आर नॉट क्लोज अंडर कॉन्केटनेशन विद रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेस सो मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल ओके नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी इफ यू इफ यू कंसिडर दिस लैंग्वेज एल डेज देन दिस एल डेज इज अ फाइनाइट लैंग्वेज सो आई कैन से वन मोर थिंग दैट डी सी एफ एल लैंग्वेजेज आर नॉट क्लोज अंडर कॉन्केटनेशन विद फाइनाइट लैंग्वेज सो आई कैन से दिस फाइनाइट लैंग्वेज डॉट डी सी एफ एल सो इफ इफ आई कॉन्केटनेट डी सी एफ एल विद अ फाइनाइट लैंग्वेज देन ऑल्सो आई कैन से मे नॉट बी डी सी एफ एल सो दिस थ्री रिजल्ट वी गोट from this simple example from this very simple counter example these are the three three results that we got dcfls are not closed under concatenation dcfl are not closed under concatenation with regular language dcfl are not closed under concatenation with finite language so these three important results that we got now after this let's see clean star so before we see this uh, clean star again we will take the same language l and our language is same a power n b power n c power k union a power n b power k c power n okay so okay d now this is our language l we have already seen that this is a dcf language now what you consider after this uh, language l we have already seen that this language this simple language this language is not dcf this also we have seen okay so this is not dcf now consider this language d star dot l is this dcf or not think about it you can pause the video and you can you can try to think about it what is this d star dot l you will see that this is also not dcf same reason why because what is this d star this d star will have empty string it will have d it will have d square and so on dot l now again the same thing will happen the same thing here empty string uh, comma uh, d dot l so here also we have empty string comma d dot l so again the same thing will happen again uh, if your string starts with d then we don't know whether uh, which part Uh, we should check so again the same thing you can just work it out this is a very simple uh, variation this is a very simple variation of this so we can say that this is also not dcfl now consider a very simple a uh, one one more variation consider one more variation in this what i am going to do l union d so basically in this language l i am going to put this string d and then i am going to take the uh, clean star you can see in this language l if i put just one more string d then that the, uh, that does not change anything so basically this internal thing this internal thing this is dcf means this l is dcf and we union it we do the union of l with this uh, this finite language only one string is there so this internal this language is also dcf now this dcf whole star what is this so this this is dcf and this is the clean star now this result what is this whether this is dcf or not so you can clearly see if you got this example okay if you understood this if you understood this then you can very easily see that this is also not dcf 
why this is not disable let's talk about it so what i uh, our l l is clear let me just write it again so union a power n b power k c power n now what i am doing i am doing l l union l union d and whole star so in this language l i am putting this one more string d and then i am taking this clean star so what i will get okay this clean star means you can repeat any number of times again this type of scenario will happen basically you will get l you will get this d what what more strings that you can get basically you can get whole square whole square means again the same uh, the same thing basically you will get d dot l also you will get okay and uh, many more things you can get l square and and many more things you can get again what will happen here the same thing this d dot l and this l you can just check it out okay we have already seen in our previous example if you consider here in this example we have already seen this was our d dl and union dl union l this example we have already seen the same situation will happen here so in this l uh okay this is our l sorry this was d here now this is our l in this l this d was telling us whether to check in this part or whether to check in this part but now when you do this l union dl then what will happen then because of this dl this d will be this d will come here also this d will come here also and because of this l you will get this also this also so basically finally this type of scenario will become this type of scenario will happen a power n b power n d a power n b power k c power n so this is basically your l union d dot l d dot l means d dot a power n b power n c power k union d square a power n b power k c power n so again you can see if your string starts with d now i don't know whether to check this or whether to check this if my string start with d then i don't know whether to match number of a with number of c or whether to match number of a with number of b so this is a very <coughs> simple example in this we have seen that this is a dcfl language this l union d this is a dcfl language okay but if i take the clean star of this language if i take the clean star of this language then that is a non dcfl language so this this language this clean star this language is a not dcfl so we have seen that clean star of dcfl may not be dcfl so the set of dcfl languages is not closed under clean star operation so i can say that if you have a dcfl and you take clean star of this dcfl then again may not be dcfl so these are the results that we have seen in this example so we can say the class of dcfl the class of uh, dcfl languages the set of dcfl languages is not closed under concatenation and clean star operation and few more example few more uh, theorems that we can say few more results that we got is this dcfl not closed under concatenation dcfl not closed under concatenation with regular languages dcfl not closed under concatenation with finite languages dcfl not closed under uh, clean star operation okay okay